There he is right there, just lazily swimming along. He's coming towards the boat. He's coming towards me. Hey, buddy. Hey, redfish, I'm going to catch you. That was awesome. If you're a returning viewer, it's great to have you back. Or if this is your first time watching, welcome to the channel. Hi, my name is Devin and I own Louisiana Fishing Blog and what I do for a living is I teach people how to catch speckled trout or redfish right here on Louisiana's coast. And today, we are in Delacro looking for an awesome redfish bite. And I have an idea as to where it is they can be based upon the conditions. So first and foremost, today is going to be sunny, maybe partly cloudy, and the occasional pop-up storm. The wind is practically non-existent, but if it does blow at all today, it'll be about five miles an hour out of the south. And we have a good, strong two foot incoming tide all day long. Now I have a good idea to where redfish were at. I went out with my buddy Jamie Mumford yesterday and we whacked them. <laughs> And I'm coming back today with all of my best camera equipment to show you what a good sight fishing trip in Louisiana looks like. So if this is something you'll enjoy, then by all means, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to know when the next one goes live, all you have to do is subscribe and ring that bell for all notifications. All right, that's enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and get to that first fishing spot. All right, let's get this party started. So I see a guard tailing. There's bait popping everywhere. The grass is leaned over, which is just like a good indication that there is indeed moving water here. Even though you're not gonna see like a ripping tide line here, you'll still see that. On a calm day like today, a big disadvantage about this is that you, you've got to use that trolling motor. You can see that gar right there. If you can see the gar, you can see the redfish. I'm looking around and I don't see any redfish, so I just haven't found them yet. They're around here somewhere though. When you're running a trolling motor through a redfish pond like this, and when you finally see a redfish, don't kill the trolling motor. Noises that spook redfish are sudden starts and stops and noises, but constant noises are okay. There's one, there's one floating over there. It looks like there's probably two of them. Oh man, there's at least, there's at least two or three of them. Got him. Oh, that was awesome. If I see another one, I'll grab that other rod and cast on him, but I don't see his buddies. Oh, no, 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 I do see his buddies. I, I was looking at the wrong fish. Oh, God damn it. Hang on. This, this fish just got me all kinds of screwed up. We might, oh, we're hung up on the freaking trolling motor. Great. Awesome. Okay, man, he ran straight for the trolling motor. I was looking at the wrong fish. Fishing line's wrapped around the trolling motor right now. What I'm gonna do is bite it off and just land this guy by hand right now. First redfish of the day. <laughs> what happened there is crazy. What happened there is his buddy was chasing him trying to eat the bait at the side of his mouth. And I was looking at his buddy and I thought I was hooked into his buddy. And I thought he was trying to, I thought this was the other redfish. So when he ran for the trolling motor, I didn't think of anything because I was still looking at the other fish. And he went and ran straight into the prop. In fact, you can see where he bumped his head right there. Poor guy, you're having a tough morning, aren't you? This is redfish number one and the skunk is out of the boat. Oh, there he goes. And now what I need to do is uh, uh, fix my fishing rod and line and fix the trolling motor. So a quick and easy way to do this is just to spin that prop counterclockwise and pull on the line. Just get it to come out. 
Okay. You'll see how clean the water is. This is the kind of water you want to find to get on really good sight fishing here in South Louisiana. The little clear spots with the shells, that's awesome and that's what you want to get on. Look at that stingray. Where there's rays, we stays. So just to give you an idea as to how slow I'm going right now, so I'm actually moving pretty quick. Uh, I had my trolling motor on three, I just dropped it down to two. Look at that crab just chilling there. Hey crab, I'm gonna run him over. That's either a gar or a redfish right there. It looks like a gar, it's a gar. But there's two redfish right here in front of the boat. I'm gonna kill the motor since they're way out there. I'm just gonna let them get closer. You can see him swimming around right there. There he is. You can see both of them right there. All right, let me put this camera down and bust them. Oh, there's three. There's actually three. Oh, that's awesome. Great. Yeah. I'm going to keep you away from the trolling motor. Bam. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you redfish number two. We love redfish number two, and we're gonna put him back in the water and go catch his buddies. There's literally one in front of the boat right there, so let me put him back in the boat. I mean, put him back in the water. Thanks, buddy. All right, I just had a problem with the GoPro overheating, and I'm hoping that I still have that camera shot. I made a little makeshift shade system for it and I'm hoping <clears throat> that works out. It is hot. It is, it is definitely one of the hottest days I've been on out here. But the redfish action is hot too. Man, I tell you what, if I didn't have to mess with these cameras, I'd already have five. I would have, I would have had five already for sure. Okay. All right. We are good now. Let's go ahead and get back to work. Do I see any redfish out here right now? No, I don't see any in front of me or off to the side. I see some over here. I'm pretty sure there's a redfish. Yeah, I see him. Got him. Oh yeah. Man, this guy, he's not huge, but he just has a lot of spunk in him. Oh man, yeah, he's nice. I'm just gonna grab him out of the water like the other ones. Oh yeah. Redfish number three. All right, we are making it happen. You can hear him drumming. What a beautiful creature, guys. What a beautiful creature. Let's get him back in the water. You ready? There we go. Look, you'll get grass that's wrapped around your fishing line like this and it's just a pain in the butt to like pull it off your line and all that. The best thing to do is just to bite it off and then retie. Doesn't hurt the retie. The water could actually come up a little bit higher. This is it's kind of there's not a whole lot of water over this grass. Like if you ever find a pond that is just really really grassed over and you just can't get back into it, it's not fishable. Wait until the water gets higher. Like if you're at low tide, wait till high tide and then go drift over it. And it'll probably be freaking amazing. This isn't bad. You can, I can definitely get over the top of this, but uh, I know that when the water's higher, it's a lot better. Okay, I see a redfish right there. There he is right there. 
Let me put this phone down and whack him real quick. There's two of them actually. Oh, he's booted. Denied. Denied. Oh, man. Oh, that sucks. All right, so what I do, what I do is I keep a clicker for redfish I see, and I saw two, so that's 13 total that I've seen now. Not bad. We're gonna see more. Uh, well, I hope so anyway. <laughs> Yesterday, there's a big hog right here. Oh, just bite it, just eat it. Oh, dude, he spooked. I didn't see him until I was right on top of him. Okay, so that was number 14. Check it out. I see one way out here in front of me. He's just cruising on the top. Oh. Oh. Where did he go? He's, it, he didn't feel the hook. There he is. Here we go. Oh, yeah. If they miss or if you set the hook too early or whatever and they don't feel the hook, they're gonna be looking around for that thing. They're gonna be like, where did that crazy little bait thing go? Oh, there we go. Down into the cockpit, thank you. This is a beautiful eating size redfish. He's gonna swim free because I'd rather come back and catch him some other time. There we go. And he's gone. And that makes redfish number four. Now, when I count redfish that I like see versus redfish that I catch, um, I don't include the redfish I catch into the redfish I see count. So I wouldn't click him on the other clicker. All right, let's try and do that again. I had these white ones and they work great, but they've kind of proven to be a little too much for the fish. They really seem to have been liking the more uh, like bluegill perch colored ones better. And that's what we see a lot of these fish swimming around eating is the, the bluegill color, not so much the white color, but I'm gonna throw the white color because it's easier for me to see it. It's easier for you guys to see it on the camera too. There's one right there. see it he's nosing down into the grass and he didn't freaking see it he's like eating a crab or something right now oh, he's looking right at me oh, i got you buddy oh. that was so cool his head like went down into the grass like eat a little crab and he kind of disappeared down into it then he came back out head first and he's staring right at me and i was like oh crap if he sees me he's probably not gonna eat but he did <laughs> If you're big in a catch and release, which I am, uh, I'll tell you that you want to get these guys back in the water in a timely manner. You might even want to hold their tail a little bit and kind of revive them and let them go back in or else they might go down that grass, turn over, then, then they'll die. Then there's no point doing the catch and release in the first place. There we go. He gone. All right, so that is redfish number five. We caught a limit. Good job, buddy. But I'm not ready to leave. I would like to film some more. I think you guys would like to see that as well, wouldn't you? So we're gonna try and film a little bit more. But now that I got a, uh, a limit out of the way, there's just something mental about that. Uh, I'll be sure to have my hand camera out more and so I can get more of the redfish swimming through the water. Now you can use a trolling motor like this and that, that definitely works, but you can also sit in one spot like, a, like you're in a deer stand or something and just wait for them to swim to you. Because if they're actively feeding, they're gonna be swimming around. Sometimes you just gotta jump down and hand clear the trolling motor and that's just all there is to it. The trick to keeping it from getting fouled in the first place is just to trim it as high as you can. 
Now to figure out that trim height, what I like to do is, you know, manually adjust it out on the water with all my weight where it is it's going to be like if the cooler I'm going to be standing on is going to be right here then I need to have it up here. I mean just as if like I'm actually fishing or when I am actually fishing and then take a sharpie take a marker and mark on the shaft exactly where it is it needs to be adjusted to and you can go straight back to it every time. You can find redfish ponds like this for yourself. You can come into ponds just like this when and catch all the fish you want. You can do that by following a process and I have that process laid out in a course that I made specifically for this called Sight Fishing Mastery School. Oh shoot, there's one right there. Hey buddy, I'm just sitting here talking about Sight Fishing Mastery School and there you go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well th thanks for the cameo buddy. <laughs> anyway, Anyway, all right, there's a redfish right there. I'm just going to blast him real quick. He's swimming towards me. I don't see him on the camera yet. There's two. There's a third one right here. There he is. All right, let me see if I, his, his fins are folded in, so I don't think he's going to eat. Oh, yeah, he's not going to eat. All right, here's two more right here. <laughs> you can find that course at lafbelite.com. Click on the menu, navigate to full courses, and you'll see it there. Sight Fishing Mastery School. Oh, boom. All right. Redfish number six. Guys, I'm telling you, for what, the, what you would spend on gas, on a fishing rod, on lures and all that, my membership is way cheaper, and it'll help you save all that money so you can come out here and catch fish just like this. Okay, there's a redfish right there. There he is right there, just lazily swimming along. He's coming towards the boat. He's coming towards me. Hey, buddy. Hey, redfish, I'm going to catch you. Ugh, that was awesome. If you haven't already and you really want to help this channel out, it would be great if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and tight lines.